Hello, 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 and welcome back to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel, and now that we've listed the 10 best and the 5 worst movies of summer 2015, and look for those episodes if you haven't seen them yet, it's time to look forward to the movies to come this fall. 2015 is already shaping up to be a year for the books. Maybe the best year in movies since 2008? Well, we'll see. Here we go! Number 15, The Walk. Robert Zemeckis' dramatization of Philip Petit's famous tightrope walk between the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in the 70s, which was extremely dangerous, extremely illegal, and extremely awesome. Number 14, Tom Hardy appears to give a tour de force performance as both of the infamous London gangsters, the Cray Brothers, in the movie Legend. What is that? I come here for a proper shootout. A shootout, right? It's a shootout! Like a western. <laughs> Number 13, Steven Spielberg reteams with Tom Hanks to tell the story of Cold War spies in Bridge of Spies. You need to have the conversation our governments can't. People in my country consider this an act of war. You can call it what you want. Let's be clear, nobody is safe. Number 12, a very, very deep cast takes on a true story of an attempt to climb a very, very high mountain in Everest. We got people stranded up there and storm is getting worse. We got a problem. We're out of gas, Doug. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you behind. Come on. I don't want to die, man. Can you hear me, Rob? You've got to get moving. No! Number 11. Aaron Sorkin, who won an Oscar for dramatizing the rise and fall of Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network, now uses those talents to tell the story of the rise and fall and rise again of Steve Jobs in Steve Jobs. What do you do? Musicians play their instruments. I play the orchestra. Oh, no. This can't be fixed in seconds. You didn't have seconds. You had three weeks. The universe was created in a third of that time. Well, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. <laughs> Number 10, David O. Russell, who is quickly becoming one of our most dependable auteurs, reunites with Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, and Robert De Niro, who each appeared in his last two films, American Hustle and Silver Linings Playbook, in Joy. <laughs> My name's Joy, by the way. Number nine, Brian Cranston seems to be gleefully two-stepping out of the shadow of Walter White by bringing a droll energy to the biography of blacklisted Hollywood screenwriter Dalton Trumbo in Trumbo. Any questions can be answered yes or no only by a moron or a slave. <laughs> Where do I sign? Number eight. A star-studded cast brings to life the story of how a small, courageous group of reporters broke the Catholic Church sex abuse scandal wide open in Spotlight. How do you say no to God? We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I'm not crazy. They control everything. This is not just Boston. It's a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. At number seven, James Bond is back in Spectre. This time out, at... and everyone has already left to go buy tickets. Okay, I'll wait. You had no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? 
I was taking some overdue holiday. Number six. Johnny Depp is already generating Oscar buzz for his scary and virtually unrecognizable turn as Whitey Bulger in Black Mass. Boom! I jump to the sky for my people. I walk through the sky. Bulger's playing this. Make a fool of Bureau. Tell me now. We're in too deep. And he knows it. Come around me telling me I changed. Number five. After several delays and pushbacks on the release date, we will finally get a gander at Joe Wright's visually sumptuous pan, in which Captain Hook is sort of a good guy, and the real villain is Blackbeard, played by a virtually unrecognizable Hugh Jackman. Wakey, wakey! An ancient prophecy tells of a boy. <laughs> a boy who would be disappeared from this world until he was old enough to return. <laughs> and lead an uprising against me. A boy who could fly. Come on, kid. Make them believe. Number four. Katniss is back, and we finally get to see her band of rebels declare war on the capital in The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. <gasps> Woo! That's a mouthful. Turn your weapons to the capital. Number three, it's Crimson Peak. It's gothic horror, and it's directed by Guillermo del Toro. This sort of thing is directly in the center of his wheelhouse. Don't know who Guillermo del Toro is? Well, he directed both Hellboy movies, Pacific Rim with all of its monsters, Blade 2, aka the good one, and Pan's Labyrinth. Are you excited yet? Because this is gonna be awesome! A living thing. Never go below this level. Proceed with caution, keeping them alive when they shouldn't be. If you're here with me, give me a signal. She knows everything. Do we have to do this? Must we? Yes. You have no idea what they do. What do you want? The number two most anticipated movie of fall 2015 is The Martian. Matt Damon stars in something like a terrestrial version of Gravity. Directed by Ridley Scott, this one looks incredible based on the trailer. Here's the rub. It's going to be four years for another mission to reach me. And I'm in a hat designed to last 31 days. So I got to make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, then none of this matters anyway. We've got an incoming message. Mein Gott. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. And the number one most anticipated movie of fall 2015 is... Huh, I forgot. Uh, let me see. I think it's in my notes here. It... <laughs> what was that? What? What was that? Excuse me, I, I heard a crash of noise and all of a sudden my, my heart skipped a beat. Now, what was the number one most anticipated? Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so excited! So excited! Star Wars! December 18th! New Star Wars! And not some kind of fake Star Wars! Han Solo! Luke Skywalker! Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and some new people as well. It's gonna be a full-on Star Wars movie, people. A score by John Williams, sound design by Ben Burt. Yeah, the guy that invented the lightsaber sound and the Vader breathing and the blaster noise. And they brought him back too. Oh God. 
There's gonna be lightsabers! There's gonna be the Millennium Falcon! <laughs> as far as I know, there's also gonna be no Jar Jar! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I wasted your time until now. Everything else is meaningless. Forget numbers 15 through 2. <laughs> I gotta go. I just... No, I can't. <laughs> that does it for Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Subscribe by clicking the icon. Star Wars! <laughs> I can't stop. Star Wars! Ha <laughs> ha!